Okay, so in this video, we'll be exploring the types of interviews that consulting firms use in their recruiting process and exactly what they're looking for from you. To receive a job offer, there are about five or six interviews that you have to make it through, which are essentially split up into two types of interviews that you need to master. The first type is the personal experience interview or personal fit interview. This will probably be the kind of interview you're most familiar with, and that's because it's the most common type of interview used across different types of companies. You'll typically be asked to recall something you've done that highlights how you handled a certain situation or displayed certain skills. For example, you might get asked to tell the interviewer about a time you resolved a conflict with someone you were working with that was more senior than you. Or you might get asked to tell them about a time you led a team through a difficult challenge. These types of questions assess your character and whether or not you would fit in well with the culture of the firm. They don't usually take up the most time in the interview, but it's still a really important aspect. If the interviewer can't see you fitting into the firm and working well with the people already there, then it's going to be really hard for him to give you a job offer, even if you performed well in everything else. Okay, so the next type of interview is what consulting firms are famous for the case interview. So this is an interview where you're given a hypothetical business problem to solve. The tricky part is that you're given quite limited information, so you have to ask the right questions to uncover the rest. And you can pretty much get asked about any industry you can think of. For example, you might get given a case about a client who manufactures cars, and they want to know whether or not to create electric cars that can drive themselves. Or you might get a client who's the head of a health insurance company and wants to know why their profitability isn't looking great. So once you get your case question, you have to navigate your way through the client's problem with your interviewer and come up with a recommendation for your client with evidence to back it up. Don't worry if you can't quite visualize what this looks like. We explain more about this in other videos. There are two fundamental reasons consulting firms use this setup. Firstly, it simulates the type of work you'll be doing when you become a management consultant. And secondly, it simulates the high pressure environment that you'll experience as a consultant. Your case interview is designed to replicate all the key stages of a real-life case with a client. You usually have anywhere from 25 to 40 minutes, and it's to see if you've got the core analytical skills and the soft skills needed to excel in the field. It's completely understandable for this all to seem really daunting at first. It's a lot to learn. But with some focus and dedication, you can absolutely build a stellar technique and master pretty much any case interview from any industry that comes up. So I also think it's important to understand why the process is so rigorous. And if you think about how consulting firms are set up, it's quite easy to understand. Like most companies, consulting firms build their business and the quality of their brand from their assets. But for them, their assets aren't products or services. It's their consultants, aka potentially you. So the success of their entire business rests on the quality of their consultants. And if the firm started to hire below par consultants, eventually clients would realize and the business would fail. So Recruiting is a really, really high-risk process for consulting firms, and to minimize that risk, they use case interviews because that's essentially a sneak peek into how you're going to be 
when you're actually working for them. 